Hey everyone, it's Summer here with Done Naturally, and today we are going to have an Ask Summer. We're going to talk about low milk supply in the NICU. A lot of moms who are exclusively pumping in the NICU are extremely stressed. This wasn't something they were expecting to happen, and now they are in a situation where they are separated from their babies and exclusively pumping and working on things a lot earlier than they expected to be. So this is a lot for the mom, uh, a lot for the family, and of course a lot for the baby too. Now, a lot of mothers experience low milk supply, um, and some of the time that low milk supply um, is caused by things they may not be doing properly, like pumping frequently enough. Other times it could be low milk supply because of something primary involved in their own maternal history. But one of the things I um, really wanna to touch on today is how much emotion is involved in um, the experience of a mom with a baby in the NICU. She is extremely vulnerable. And it's very important as a lactation consultant to handle these moms with just lots of tender love and care. Um, they are working their tails off at something that is really important to them. And when we're talking to a mom who has a low milk supply, one of the things I like to talk to her about is not necessarily focusing on um, what's not happening and instead focusing on what she is doing and the work that she is doing and the milk that she is providing. Any milk that is collected is better than no milk at all, especially for those premature infants. One drop of colostrum or one drop of milk has close to one million white blood cells in it. A million! That's a lot and that protects those babies along with everything else that's inside of there. So even when mothers are giving very small amounts that might be under an ounce, um, under half an ounce, that can make a huge difference in a premature baby um, who might even be too young to orally feed. And it can help keep them from something as scary as necrotizing enterocolitis, which is basically guts that are like not functioning anymore and like dying. The gut is no longer working. Um, and that breast milk can help them, uh, keep them from getting that, heal them when they do get that. So when mothers are experiencing a low milk supply, they're distraught and they wanna figure out something to do to make it work. And what they can do is more frequent pumping, um, at least pumping eight times a day, definitely not going any longer than three hours at night without pumping, those long stretches tell your body to reduce your milk supply. And I know it's so hard. I know it's so hard to wake up in the night, um, but we have to pretend for your body's sake that your baby is actually full term home with you and breastfeeding. And in the NICU, they're feeding every three hours. So your body has to be doing the same thing in order to give it the most success or opportunity for success in making that milk. And a lot of times moms are way ahead of what their baby's needs are because the baby was born so prematurely. But then as their baby's needs increase, the mom's milk production may not. Um, I really like to have moms focus on, I, I want them to be fueled with um, hope. Fueled, like using that frustration that they're having, frustration with low milk supply, frustration with pumping, using that as energy or fuel to recommit to pumping on a regular basis, um, removing that milk regularly. And even blind pumping. Blind pumping is so helpful. That's where someone is pumping and not even looking at the milk containers that are collecting the milk. You're covering it up with some sort of blanket. Um, you're closing your eyes. You're um, 
watching TV and not looking at it. Um, something to where your eyes aren't looking at the drip, 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 or lack of drip. Because when you're looking at it and you're seeing the little amount of milk coming out or no milk coming out, you in your brain start negative talking. You start telling yourself, you know, oh my God, what's wrong with me? My body doesn't work. I'm not making enough milk. I'm worried for my baby. What am I gonna do? And it's just this litany of negative energy and talk that you're doing to yourself. And that creates a lot of stress, a lot of cortisol hormone in your body. And cortisol, the hormone for stress, and the relaxation hormone that's responsible for letdown, those fight. And every time, cortisol wins. So then if you're stressed, your letdown hormone isn't going to happen, which means you'll collect less milk. So blind pumping is amazing. Focusing on something that's funny, relaxing, also very helpful. Massage during pumping. Like if you are using a hands-free pumping bra, awesome then you can use both your hands to massage your breasts during your pumping and a lot of mothers experience collecting about 50 percent more than when they're not massaging and lots of studies to support that too um, so those are the things we really need to focus on with our fragile and really dedicated mothers of premature babies not be focusing on water intake and food intake and is there a pill I can take? And you know, should I eat special cookies or bars or drink a certain color of Gatorade? Not any of that stuff, just frequent removal, um, optimizing her removal process with the use of bras and massage and blind pumping. Um, and even bedside pumping, pumping next to the premature baby makes a huge difference in her collection too. So, that's really what I wanted to say today. First of all, I commend anyone that is going through the NICU um, process with their baby. Um, it is a very difficult situation and we lactation consultants want to help you and support you. And there's a lot of NICU graduate moms out there who have succeeded in whatever succeeding means for them and they can be kind of a circle of support for you too. So um, that's it. I hope that can help um, invigorate you or fuel you during this time or even someone that you know that might be going through this. That's all I have. Have a good day. Bye-bye.